am so excited to be shooting another of these impromptu unedited videos for my Beautylish um, Lucky Box is what it was called. Uh, I got my Beautylish Lucky Box uh, in the mail yesterday, sort of. The FedEx guy left it in a weird random place and then the note that was on the door like flew off with the wind. So it took us a while to find. It was almost like Santa hiding a present, like we couldn't find it. So this is the box. I haven't opened it yet. It's brand new and I just realized I forgot my scissors. So I am going to edit out me going to go get my scissors. I'll be right back. Okay, that's the only editing I'm going to do because I, I needed to get my scissors to open this. So I am really excited to get this. It was $75. Oh my goodness. But the reason why I got it is because Beautylish carries a lot of brands that I've never tried, like Kevin Aquan and um, not Tarina Tarantino. What's that one? The one with the boob blushes. Um, oh, I can't remember. It's a chick's name and I can't remember what it is. But um, everybody talks about how awesome they are. I think she's a YouTuber or something. I don't know. It's a channel I don't watch if it is. Okay, so I opened it up and it looks like this. What is the name of that check? I hopefully I got something from her. And if I did, then I'll be super excited. Okay, so there is a little sticker and it just says Beautylish Lucky Bag 2015. I've never ordered anything from Beautylish because everything is so ridiculously expensive that, and they don't, they don't seem to have sales or anything, so I've never gotten anything. So everything comes in this bag. And there's just a piece of tape on the bag. Is there something in the bottom of it? Or it's just packaging? Yeah, it's just packaging, okay. So inside, ooh, okay. All right, first thing I see I'm very excited about is, ooh, it's cold. Oh, it's very cold. It is a full-size Bliss Grapefruit and Aloe Body Butter. And Bliss is one of my favorite hand cream uh, formulas. I love it. I hope it's not frozen. It feels like it's all cold and frozen. Let me see. Oh, it's not open yet. Okay, I'm not going to, oh, should I open it? I have so much hand cream open right now, but it's like, you know. I know I'm going to use it eventually. That smells so good. I don't know. It's very cold. <laughs> it is like 15 degrees outside right now. Ooh, oh, that smells so good. It's seeping in really nicely. Um, feels a little oily at first, um, not oily, but a little greasy at first, but it's, it's already seeped in. It feels amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this brand. If you haven't tried Bliss um, products, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend. Okay, next thing in here is this Summer Sparkle Lit Kit. Oh, I didn't tell you, this is the natural box. It sold out in about 20 minutes or so after it went live. I like got on there right after, right when the sale was supposed to start and I was like trying to type in my information and it was having errors and I was so scared I wasn't going to get it and I got it and then like two minutes later it sold out. But then the bold box that they had sold out like the next day. So it took a while for the bold box to sell out. And then there was like a makeup, um, makeup artist box and that one sold out like almost immediately, well before the natural one. So anyway, so I'm surprised to see in here this Summer Sparkle Lit Kit, uh, where it, you get a clear liquid base, and then you get this Hello Sunshine glitter. Let me put it up here. So there is that. That's what that looks like. I've never seen anything like this before. Let me see. Okay, so I'm trying to go fast since I'm not editing. Okay, so it's this little teeny tiny bit of liquid, which I'm assuming is what's gonna make it stick. And then this glitter, holy moly. Yeah, I would never put this, expect to get something like this in a natural box. It's like super sparkly. So let's try this out. Maybe I will have to edit this, I don't know. I'll just put it on my hand without the other stuff so you can see it's like falling everywhere. Um, I'm assuming that this is gonna help it stick. So, but not really excited about that just because I don't really wear glitter. Mm. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is an Indy Lee COQ10 toner. Feels a bit moist. Maybe it's just from the moisture outside, from the cold outside. This thing is ginormous. And I just finished my toner that I was using, so I'm really excited to have a new toner. Yay! Does it have a smell? Let me see if it's open. It is. It smells like a toner. It smells very fresh and clean. Yeah, very excited to have this. And yeah, super, super happy about that. I don't know anything about Indy Lee. If you know anything about this brand, let me know, because I don't know anything about that. 
Okay, next thing is a little card and it just says Beautylish, our gift to you, $20 in credit towards your next purchase. Ooh, that might encourage me to buy something. That's cool, that was nice to put that in there. All right, next up is Kevin Aquan. Yay, I've always wanted to try his stuff. And I haven't, because it's expensive. They do have it on, um, they call it Outlook. I always call it Hot Look, but it's actually pronounced Oat Look, like oatmeal. Um, and I just learned that. Uh, but anyway, so they sometimes have his stuff on there, but it's still really expensive, even when uh, when it's on Hot Look. Oat Look. Uh, it comes in this little velvet bag, and then here is, let's see got a little push button. That's kind of weird for an eyeshadow. Oh, that's pretty. Show you up close. There you go. Ooh, they feel very creamy. Let's put them over here. Super pretty. Very nice. I am looking forward to working with these. Very excited about those. Nice. I love those colors. The lighter color has kind of got a pinky tone to it. They actually both kind of have a pinky tone to it. The darker one has like a little bit of a pink shimmer in it. That's really pretty. They're very soft, very pigmented, very creamy, and I'm very excited about that. And it looks like there's two more things in here. This is nude sticks. Isn't this stuff expensive, nude sticks? If I remember right, I think I've seen that on um, Sephora recently as nude sticks, but I don't know anything about it. And it looks like this is... Thanks so much for buying Nude Sticks. We hope you love it as much as we do. Blah, 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 blah. Lash Lengthening Mascara. Okay, well that will be fun to use. I'm actually just going through January is my time to trade out all of my mascaras so I can open this because I'm in need of new mascaras now that it's been three months since the last time I've opened them. It looks like the brush is pretty typical. Um, no weird funky smell, so that makes me happy. So I will be testing this and I will let you know, hopefully. I don't always say I guarantee I'll let you know because you never know I forget things, but um, but I definitely want to let you know. Uh, and it's there's a mirror inside the packaging. <laughs> <laughs> Very odd. It's like you put this whole big thing in your purse to have a mascara so you have a mirror. Seems like kind of a waste of packaging to me, but I don't know. But I am excited to have it, and I think that they're pretty expensive. And then the last thing in here is a brush, and it is a Wayne Goss brush. Ooh, I'm excited about that. I'm a huge Wayne Goss fan. And, ooh, it's very soft. Does it say what it is? No, it just says Japan on it, and it says number 20. And it looks like it's a detailing brush. I've been wanting to try doing cut crease, so I think that this would be very helpful in doing that. I'll have to go on the website and see uh, uses for this, but I would imagine this would be really nice. Ooh, that feels good. That feels very nice. I'm very excited about that. So that is all I got in my box. And again, this was $75. I'll put the retail price down in the description since I'm not editing this, uh, but I will put the retail price of everything down below. Um, as far as personal value, um, I, you know, I don't even want to put a personal value on this stuff because I haven't tried any of it yet, and I don't think it's fair to put a value on something that I've never tried. The only thing I am not happy about is the glitter. I think that that was a very strange choice to put in a natural bag, but other than that, I'm excited about everything. I mean, toners are very expensive. The body butter is running at least 10 to $15 for this big, huge one. Uh, the mascara, I'm assuming, is at least $20. I'm imagining this is at least 15 and then the Kevin Aquan eyeshadow I know these are really expensive I don't know how much they cost but I know that they're expensive so uh yeah so overall I'm very excited is it worth $75 I don't know I honestly I don't know if it's worth $75 I would say it's definitely worth 50 uh but I don't know if it's worth 75 I'm I wouldn't say I'm disappointed because it was kind of the risk that I took but yeah, I'm not blown away, let's just say that. But I am thankful to have it and I'm happy to try these products. So that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. Mad love and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.